CBS 4 is following breaking news at 5. More bombshell revelations in the Delphi double murder case. Yeah, this time it is coming from Richard Allen's defense team. Allen is the prime suspect in the murders of Abigail Williams and Libby German. Now, Allen's lawyers say they are still defending their client despite what the trial judge announced in court last week. Judge Fran Gall says the lawyers have been dismissed and their names have been removed from the court docket. It's been a day of back and forth and dueling case motions and orders. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid is here to sort it out. Good evening, Russ. And good evening, Bob. Contained in these motions are phrases like ambush, public shame, violations of public access, and Hobson's choice. And it looks like Allen defense attorney Bradley Rosie was only getting started. There was an audible gasp in Judge Fran Gull's Fort Wayne courtroom when she made this announcement last Thursday. We've had an unexpected turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. Um, earlier this afternoon, the defense attorneys have withdrawn their representation of Mr. Allen. True enough, attorney Andrew Baldwin of Franklin was calling it quits after it was revealed that sensitive crime scene evidence had been leaked from his office to social media Delphi watchers. But co-counsel Bradley Rosie of Logansport was set to fight for his job and his client. In his notice announcing he was pushing back against Judge Gull's pronouncement that he was also stepping down, Rosie today told the court it had engaged in, quote, an ambush of defense counsel entirely void of due process. Rosie claims the judge told the attorneys if they didn't resign, she would read a prepared statement criticizing defense counsel, publicly disparage their representation of the accused, thereby possibly tainting the jury pool and harming their client's defense. It's for those reasons that Rosie argues he won't surrender to pressure to resign the case and for that matter wants Judge Gull removed. Rosie's motion to disqualify doubts the judge's impartiality, argues Judge Gull has allowed violations of public access and sealed evidence favorable to Allen, exhibited a bias and prejudice against the accused, and strong-armed attorneys Rosie and Baldwin to force their resignations, and she should be removed from the case for multiple alleged court rules violations. Well, at 3.30 this afternoon, Judge Gall issued this order, reiterating the dismissals of Baldwin and Rosie. But I just got off the phone with the attorney representing the defense team, David Hennessy of Indianapolis, and he tells me that the judge has overstepped her bounds and does not have the authority to dismiss the lawyers based on a conversation in secret in her chambers last week in Fort Wayne, absent a wit written withdrawal. To quote another veteran lawyer I've spoken to this afternoon who has closely been following this case, quote, what a mess. Bob and Debbie? It's mm. a story we'll be following. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, Russ.